fellas that are growing up that I was always playing the bigger boys, um, which at the time was just the norm. Uh, you know, certainly playing against them. Some, some massive boys, especially out west when it, where I was playing. So, you know, I do have some great memories of um, trying to bring down those big bulls. But, you know, it's just one of those things growing up that uh, you look at and, and then you also look at some of your mates that you were playing with at the time that sort of didn't develop later on and, and probably get got a little bit disenchanted with the, the system of just sort of being knocked over every week, um, you know, and you sort of wish that you got the opportunity to stay with them and play a lot more with them through the years. Trying to tackle the bigger blokes is something that I still have to do today, but I also know that there's a lot of people in the in the system that um, probably didn't enjoy that as much, just wanted to play the game and, and didn't enjoy that so much that they dropped out. And, you know, that's certainly nothing, something that I, I don't want to see and, and the AI you don't want to see. You know, we want a lot of kids enjoying their footy and, and enjoying uh, playing with their friends. I just, I just don't think there's anything better than team sport and I believe that this is the way to, to include kids of all shapes and sizes in the game. Uh, the blue card program is something that's very, uh, very close to my heart. Um, one of my great mates from from college passed away from a head injury in rugby, um, Nick Tooth, and his family, amazing people, have uh, been really, really strong in pushing the blue card program. And I think it's ultimately the best thing for not only our code but also any other code that wants to take take on as well. Um, you know, head injuries are. You know, previously been such a grey area, the unknown, and I think now it's, it's so good to be sent, to see. You know, not only the Nick Tooth Foundation, but also the ARU leading the way in that sort of head trauma area. Um, you know, you just want people to be able to enjoy their footy and, and play safely, and all these protocols that are coming in, which are you know the best in the world at the moment, is, is something that's really it's great for the game. And I, I'm really looking forward to seeing how it goes over the next few years.